Hey guys, welcome back to another episode. And during this episode, we're going to talk about the Asus ZenBook 14 OLED laptop, which is one of the really good laptops in the Windows category as compared to MacBooks. So if someone needs a premium laptop in Windows segment as compared to MacBooks, so they can definitely choose this one laptop. And why you should choose this one laptop? The reason is coming up. Talking about the specifications in this laptop, we get a 13th generation Intel Core i7 processor that is 1360p processor, which features four cores for performance and eight cores cores for efficient cores. In total we get a 16 thread performance in this laptop and which is really great. We have tested this for Cinebench and Geekbench scores and we have got really great scores in that. And also considering the GP performance in this laptop we get an Iris XE graphics card which also performs really good. We get a 15,000 score in Geekbench GPU scores so which is really great and uh, if we talk about doing any sort of work which is GPU intensive either for example if you are talking about video editing so you can definitely do video editing as well in this laptop. It features an Intel Iris XE graphics card which is an integrated graphics card as compared to a dedicated graphics card but still you can go ahead and do video editing as well on this laptop and also the rendering time is really good. But you won't get as good as compared to a dedicated graphics card but then too for one kind of users who need a laptop where we can do video editing as well so this is one kind of a laptop talking about the ram we get an 16 gigabytes of lpddr5 ram which runs at 4800 megahertz which is really awesome and there is the efficiency that we get for ram is really amazing and we have tested this for all sort of works and it works really great also talking about the storage we get a 512 gigabytes of nvme ssd which is pci gen 4 ssd and that is that has really great running efficiency and the transfer speeds are really great over here as compared to a macbook so we don't get any lags into a transfer speed so transfer speed is really great and amazing talking about the build quality of this laptop the first time when i looked at to this laptop the build quality is really great and amazing we get a complete clean design and this is a silver finish by the way so you also get a darker color into it but this is the silver color model and which has a really deep Decent designing over here with a small batching of Asus ZenBook at to the really bottom and the hinge quality is also really great it is a complete stainless steel design hinge which opens up completely to 180 degrees so you can also use your one hand just to open up the laptop and that's it that is really great so it opens up completely at to 180 degrees so the hinge is com is really nice and we don't get any wobbling issues and the hinge is really great over here the build quality is really great the chassis is really hard and rigid we there is no flex into the chassis keyboard is really nice when we are talking about the typing experience so the typing experience goes really well this is a completely backlit key keyboard we have three different levels of brightness that you can set to so depending upon the environment you're working into also the trackpad is really amazing the trackpad goes it does glides we won't get as good as compared to a macbook but yes the trackpad in this is really amazing there's also additional feature in the trackpad we also get a number keypad in the trackpad itself so we can use the trackpad to type numbers as well because we don't get a full size keyboard in the laptop so we also have a number keypad in the trackpad itself you can just turn it on and turn it off whenever you want to talking about the display display is one of the best features of this laptop and this is a 2.8k resolution 90 hertz refresh rate display which we get in this laptop with dci p300 percent color gamut and pantone validating so for color accuracy this laptop suits you just well so if you're a designer who is looking for a laptop which has the complete color accuracy so you can definitely go ahead with it and also talking about the display it is a complete touch display that means you can use your fingers or you can use a smart man to work on the display so that is really great thing over here so you can use your complete hands on onto the display this is a complete touch display and works really well getting to the next parts of the laptop talking about the ports onto the right hand side we get an hdmi port and along with that we have a 3.5 mm port for headphones next to that we have two thunderbolt 4 ports which can be used as display port as well as it can be used for charging so any one of the ports can be used for charging and next to that we have a micro sd card slot next to that we have two indicators one is for charging and one is for battery efficiency coming on to the left hand side we have just one usb a 3.2 gen port and next to that we just have three vents for exhaust
So looking to the, onto the back inside, onto the back inside, there's a complete clean finish and there's very minimal amount of vents created for the exhaust and but it works really well. There is no heating issues to be found on this laptop. Slight heating can be found because the entire build of this laptop is out of metal. So that is the reason you can find little bit heating up because it does not feature the dedicated graphics card. So the heating is really low onto this and this is a power efficient model. So we do get some great amount of performance onto this laptop now coming to the side for which kind of users this laptop is made out so if you're a designer if you're working on the designs specifically so you can definitely go ahead with this laptop because it features a pantone validated display you can work on designs and manufacturing industries really well and getting to the other side even if you're looking for programming so we have tested out this for programming as well so programming goes really well you can run android studio you can run vs code we can run any kind of simulations on this laptop and it won't fail you up so that is the one thing that is really great about it next to that if you are doing video editing you can also do video editing on this laptop but i won't suggest you for that because it doesn't feature a dedicated graphics card so if you get a dedicated graphics card, that would be much better but i won't recommend you specifically for video editing because of the graphics graphics card but yeah for minimal amount of video editing on to premiere pro or any other software you can definitely go ahead with that and next to that if you are talking about after effects and different softwares so they do also run onto it photoshop runs really well onto this so for specifically talking about the graphic designers it works really well so for them it's just the one laptop if you're getting into the windows segment so guys if you're choosing a laptop which is windows segment laptop other than macbooks so you can definitely go ahead and the pricing is really competent just around the macbook air and the macbook pro with the 13 inch model so you can definitely choose get ahead to look at to this laptop as well so if you've got any more doubts any more queries regarding this laptop do comment down below we'll be happy to help you out and if you liked our video please hit that like button and subscribe to our channel meet you next episode till then goodbye